Are you one of those people that when you start exercising, you benefit from weight loss and then after it's like you're not losing weight anymore? Or are you one of those people that when you start doing your exercises, it's like you're not reaping any weight loss benefits? If you fall into any of these categories, then you don't want to move a muscle because today we'll be talking on how you can enjoy weight loss from exercising continuously. So you don't want to move a muscle, but stay glued. Hello everyone. Welcome once more to our Health Time YouTube channel. Yeah, we encourage each other to make healthier choices through fitness and nutrition. So if today is your first time stopping by, thank you so much. Please do hit on that subscribe button and the notification bell so that when we upload a new video, you're notified immediately. To all our returning subscribers, as always, you are the real deal. Thank you for your endless, ceaseless support. I truly appreciate it and I don't take it for granted. When it comes to exercise and weight loss, exercise is very important. Nutrition is important, but exercise is important as well because it contributes to your weight loss. So let's talk how you can enjoy weight loss benefits while exercising. The first thing you want to consider is your exercise needs to be consistent. You need to be consistent with your exercises. Now you can make your plan as I will always say. You can start three days, four days, five days, six days, but make your plan and be consistent with it. The second thing you should consider is start small. You don't want to start with high intensity exercises because your body is going to plateau at a very early stage. You want to start with low impact, easy going exercises. When I give birth, I always start with walking and I always ensure that I start small, no bricks walking. That's going to come with time. So the second thing you want to consider actually is for you to start small. Now, when you have picked up your exercise gear, the next thing you want to consider is for you to vary your exercises. Vary them. If you're doing walking, the next day you should try to walk faster or you should start struggling to jog because when you vary your exercises, you are sending a new message into your body and your body is reaping lots of benefits you'll be enjoying weight loss in a continuous manner. When you vary your exercises, you should also consider varying the duration. If you started with three times exercises per week, you can now go to four after like four, well, four weeks or a month or two. And then after you can go to five days per week. So vary the duration, either the number of times you do or your exercise session. Sometimes you can do 30 minutes, other times you do 45 minutes, 20 minutes vary once you vary your body does not get too used to your activity so at any time you're exercising you're benefiting from weight loss also you should consider varying the nature of the exercises if you're doing walking tomorrow you can do jogging the next day you can do high intensity another day you can do weight lifting so have a program for example I do walking in the mornings or jogging and then do general cardio and some days in the week I try to do weight lifting at least three times in a week. Some other days I can just decide to do high intensity exercise for a very short period of time. So in that way your body don't get familiar with what you're doing and then any exercise you're doing you're reaping benefits. I hope you're getting value to what we are saying. So in summary we have said you should first consider being consistent with your exercises. Two, you should consider varying your exercises. Three, you should consider changing your exercises in terms of duration and intensity. But most importantly, you should be consistent. Even if it's walking, be consistent. And those little bits will add up and you will see results.